Hello everybody. In today's video, I will show you how to use Excel VBA to call a remote enabled function module in SAP and download and display the data in Excel. So for this, I open a new Excel. Then I save this Excel on my local folder. And here the important thing is not the name, but the type, because the type is here Excel macro enabled workbook. I click on save. Then let's zoom in a little bit and I click on the developer tab. If you don't see this, you can enable this if you click on file options, then on customize ribbon. And here you see a checkbox with developer. Then click on OK and then on macro. Here we create a, a macro. Um, we need a macro name. In my example today, I need call FM. Call FM. FM stands here for function module. And now I show you the function module which I want to call today. It's TH user lists with two tables and in the table user list, here is my information about the logged on users, transaction, GUI version and uh, IP address. And to call this uh, remote enabled function module, we have to set some uh, parameters. First, I create an object, create object um, sap.functions. And then we need some uh, parameters and the information for these parameters are in the SAP logon. For example, the IP address of the application server. Then the system number, it's called instance number in the SAP GUI, in the SAP logon. And now let's uh, copy the substring because we need much more parameters. For example, the system, client, language, user and password. In the first example, I write a password in plain text here. And after that, I check if the connection is true. Then I set another object, OFM. And then I set OFM is O sub at the name of my function module, TH user list. And if this function module exists, I uh, set the user list from the table USR list. So I write here OFM dot tables and here I write, the, I write the table from the function module. In this table is the information I need. So then I need an counter and for each user in this user list I write some columns in my Excel. So in the first uh, cell, I write the second column of this uh, user list. It's the client. Then I increase the counter. And now I do some exception handling. Because if there is uh, an error with the connection or, or with the login or with the function module, I write out some exception messages. Okay, so let's format this a little bit for better reading. And after that, we can uh, save the code and run the script. And in the background, if I open the Excel, I see here two results. It's two times the client. In my test system, the client is one. So the script, the script is working. And now we add some more uh, information from the function module. For example, the 
um, the username, the transaction and so on. And now I insert a button to call my uh, macro. I call the, uh, the name the button get user list. So I check again the, the info here. Is it should work? Yes. And if I click on the button, we see here the information from my function module. It's the client, the username, the transaction, SAP GUI, and so on. So let's open another uh, window and we see the transaction of the user is changing from SE37 uh, to SE11. So and if you don't want to uh, write your password in plain text here, you can change here the parameter to force. That means that the pop-up uh, opens and now you can type here in the pop-up your password. And after you press the button OK, the data is fetched. Yes, that was it already. If you like my videos, subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. Also write something in the comments. I always like to read them. Take care and see you on the next video.